this episode of Sports Science, we're challenging some of the oldest myths in sports. We've done some debunking. Now let's do a little dunking. someone's in the air. What goes up is supposed to come right back down, but some athletes seem to be able to defy gravity. So is it true? Can guys like LeBron James, Vince Carter, and Michael Jordan go up, strike a pose, and come back down when they're good and ready? Is hang time a myth or a reality? To uncover the secrets of epic hang time, we hit the sports science basketball court and turn the ball over to high-flying NBA point guard, Jordan Farmar. This six-foot, two-baller knows the secrets of flight. You want to start off by getting your center of gravity as low as possible. I usually use my arms to get a lot of force. And you lift your center of gravity and your arms at the same time. Push off as hard as you can. When you put all that together, it's kind of like this. And you get a lot of force through your center of gravity, which keeps you going up. Sir Isaac Newton's laws of gravity tell us that what goes up must come down. But does it come right down, or can it linger? Dr. Cindy Burr of Wayne State University and our team of scientists wire up Jordan with cutting edge technology that will track every phase of his flight. Jordan, these are the F-scan pressure sensitive insoles. And we're gonna put these inside your shoes so that we can measure the pressure underneath the balls of your feet and the force that you use to jump. Gotcha. Second thing we wanna do is we wanna put what's called an accelerometer around your waist. We're going to try to measure kind of where your center of gravity is and how much it moves in space. We're going to check this out real quick. Can See, I move? Right? It moves. You better buy a new screen. Now it's time for Jordan to walk it and jump it like he talks it. speed camera does two things. Make Jordan appear as though he can float and help prove that he cannot. Shooting at 1,000 frames per second, the camera records 840 frames from launch to landing. Jordan's total flight time, 0.84 seconds. And here is your hang time. Gotcha. So that's the time. There's no force at all on those sensors. We know that that's the time you're in the air. Gotcha. Once you leave the ground, the center of gravity of your body is going to follow a perfect arc. Every single time, it's the same law of physics that applies to any type of projectile. And the accelerometer data shows that Jordan's ascent and descent were exactly the same at 0.42 seconds each way. This means that Jordan is either going up or going down. There is no in-between. No point in time at which he hangs in the air. So the myth of hang time is a lot of hot air. Sir Isaac Newton's law of gravity tells us that what goes up must come down. So how do the best in the world, like LeBron James, Vince Carter, and Michael Jordan, make it look like they're hovering? Here, for the first time ever, Cutting edge motion capture tracking technology uncovers the secret behind the magic of hang time. While mid-flight body contortions cannot affect their overall flight, when elite players like Michael Jordan begin their descent, their body stretches, 
which keeps their head moving horizontally for an extra split second. This creates the optical illusion of prolonged hang time. Michael's hang time on this dunk is 0.92 seconds. That may not seem like a long time, but that's just about the maximum time any human could be in the air. In fact, no one can jump, land on their feet, and be in the air for more than one second. No one, not LeBron, not Vince, and not even Michael. The law of gravity is simply too strong. Thank you, Sir Isaac Buzzkill. Coming up, does sex before the big game affect an athlete's performance? Our volunteers return to the lab, and we'll see if this sex test has a happy ending. This is Sports Science, Myths.